Have you ever wondered how microcontrollers understand the language that we write and how do they process it? So in this video, I'm going to explain you two types of languages that the microcontroller understands and how do they react to it. Welcome you guys. So today we'll be talking about RISC and CISC and we'll go through basics to the very end of the concept. Let's get started. So the first one is CISC. CISC stands for Complex Instruction Set Computing. And uh, this, the next one is RISC. RISC is Reduced Instruction Set Computing. So every microcontroller is pre-stored with some of the instructions that it can follow. Instructions like multiply, addition, subtraction, shifting the resistors, shifting the resistor data. So I'll give you an example of CISC and RISC. CISC is used in all of the PC homes, laptops that we have. It needs to process heavy graphics for games, heavy computation for equations. So all those things is done by CISC. For faster response, we go for RISC. RISCs are used in mobile phones, tablets, Android, iOS, all those architectures. So let me explain you guys about the difference between CISC and RISC on a blank page. Now talking about the difference between RISC and CISC, we can clearly see that the CISC architecture only takes one step to get the data from the memory, do operations on the data and store the data back in the memory. Now in RISC architecture, the system takes three small steps. First one to load the memory, second work would be to do operations over the op data and third one would be to store the data into the memory. Now the second difference is very important to understand the concept. As you can see in CISC, the command length in CISC architecture is variable. But in case of RISC, they are all equal. They are into steps. Also, we can see from here only that the code size is smaller and but takes more clock cycles. But in this, the code size is bigger than this, but it takes less clock cycles to solve the question. Since it needs more clock cycles, CISC needs better hardware and powerful processing to process the code given to the CISC architecture. But in this architecture, it will take less costly hardware. Now the last and the final point of CISC and RISC architecture difference is that CISC uses more RAM and less resistors. But in case of RISC architecture, it uses more resistors and less RAM. Every food tastes better when it is mixed with different spices. So the next technology in this field is called EPIC. EPIC stands for Explicit Parallel Instruction Computing. It is in research phase right now, but sooner or later, it will be available in all of the devices that we use these days. Let's hope for the best. Thank you.